you know, oftentimes I talk about having a lot of rods rigged. You want any situation that you may fish that day to have a rod rigged for it, whether it's in the rod box or out on the deck. But when you're fishing on an East Texas lake, I have seen them come, come up schooling so many times, and sometimes they're good fish. Good fish right there. Oh, look how fat this guy is right here. That's awesome. I was worried because they I mean we we started, we were flipping grass right there. We had just pulled up on that point. And when uh when we started flipping, all of a sudden they come up. Yeah, that's a good one. That's fat. That's awesome. Started flipping, they come up and then I thought, I, I threw my bait where they were, but the problem is there's so much scum that's kind of floating around. There's no wind right now, and so that scum just kind of floating, and, but I got him, that's awesome. Now, it's not the kind of schooling where you're gonna sit out there and catch fish after fish and chase them all day, but it's the kind of schooling that if you have a rod rigged, you can add a couple of fish during the day to your krill. Now, my favorite bait, a Strike King Sexy Dog. They make three different sizes. I like all three. The mid size is probably my favorite because it's the size of the shad the most often. If you're dealing with little bitty shad or great big shad, you can go to the other baits as well. Usually kind of a shad type color, be ready with it because all you gotta do is get your bait into that school Jerk it a couple of times and hopefully you'll catch a big fish. It's a way you can put a bunch more fish in the boat.